Apex has just added the new freaking Grandmaster Quest Wild Gothic Sleeps and three new items. Three new weapons, rather. So let's check them out. Let's check them out and see what they are about, guys. Because you guys are going to like this. So they have actually changed a few things right before the update. So we have the Ember Light, which lowers the opponent's strength, attack, and defense levels by 5% of their base level. Now, a lot of these items are just useful against demons in general. So it's kind of like... <laughs> like kind of like how Yu-Gi-Oh would have like special effects against like you know certain attributes or whatever. However, this is still useful in like PvP scenarios, guys. So we also have the Purging Staff, which is a, a freaking special attack weapon with 75 magic, guys. So when a demon is killed by this attack, it restores 25% special attack energy, which is really good, and reduces the attack delay by three. So, guys, are they gonna release, like, a super strong, like, demon in the future where you're going to need these items here, guys? And also, the bonuses are not that bad on these uh, items here, guys. We get... We get we get some melee strength. We get magic damage. We even get ranged defense. Or range attack or something. I think it's defense. Uh, 83 crush. We get 37 magic attack, so I'm not sure if it's like a two-handed weapon. It looks like it might be, but for Ember Light, Ember Light, I don't know if that's going to be that useful. It seems to be like more of a quest item, like kind of like Art Light, but, or a, what is it, Silver Light. Oh, now this one's interesting in particular because it's like a freezing weapon here, guys. It binds the enemy for five ticks and inflicts burn damage for it. It's like a bind. So I'm I'm super interested to get my hands on this bow here, guys. I'm not sure. It seems to be like a two-handed weapon. I don't know exactly here, guys. But 124 ranged attack, guys. All these items are tier 70, like almost like tier 75 weapons here, guys. If they're not already like that, guys. So I'm super excited to get my hands on these. However, that being said, they're not strong. They're not stronger than like the tier 80 weapons we have already out here, guys. So. I don't know, I don't think they'll go for extremely that much. I mean, it's not useful in PvP. So that that, that, that just takes so many so much value from it. And, and the, the fact that it's only useful against demons, guys. So, like, demon tasks only, like, or, like, demon kind of bosses. I, guys, let me know what, what kind of scenarios you'd use these weapons, guys. But, yeah, the freezing effect is actually useful in PvP. So this, this bow right here, I'm excited for it. If it's useful in PvP, I'm not sure if it's even going to be able to be used in PvP. I haven't seen anyone use it in streams or anything yet, so... Bone Claws! So these are actually not more powerful than the Dragon Claws. The Dragon Claws are still stronger, but they're trying to offer it as, like, a less powerful version of the Dragon Claws, so... Here's what the effects are. Deal up to 175 damage over 3 hit splash. 60 Tier 60 attack weapon. So it's almost like the Corrupted Dragon Claws, I don't understand, guys. So three hit splats instead of four, which makes it, uh... But you also get a burn damage, so burn is rolled for each hit splat. The chance to inflict the burn scales depend on the successful accuracy roll. Okay, okay. So the, the, the larger hit, the more burn damage you get. But I'm not sure, I don't think it's guaranteed. But what, here's the interesting part here, guys. 30%. You can go, you can use these claws. You can gem all right after. That's 80%. You get 20% less. You can't really do much with 20 You can't do nothing with 20%, but... You can follow this up with a Void Waker. You know? So, they're adding a cheap alternative to the Dragon Claws. This is this could be a game changer here, guys. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll, we'll, we'll try to get our hands on a pair of bone claws, and I'll see you guys next time.